Hey everybody, are you ready to unlock your spiritual potential this September? We have three transformative courses lined up just for you. Starting September the 10th, join Shelley and me for a four-week journey to learn to channel your spirit guides. Then on the 11th, dive into my beginner's tarot course, perfect for those ready to explore the art of tarot reading. And still on the 11th, but later in the day, if you've ever wanted to communicate with animals on a deeper telepathic level, don't miss our eight-week animal communication course with Erin and me. These courses are designed to help you connect with your intuition, enhance your spiritual practice and develop life-changing psychic skills. Secure your spot today and start your journey to a more intuitive you. Links are in the description box below this video. Hey Pisces, welcome to today's reading. I hope everything's going brilliantly in your world. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. We've got the dragon and the dragon's egg today and we've got some very high vibration sort of star seed and elevated energy cards and we're looking at the week ahead. So it feels like something really big is hatching. Dragons are very healing energy. So there might be a healing of something, but there's something hatching. There's something bearing fruit or about to happen this week. Okay, the week ahead. Activated earth, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led. And... Deep cellular healing, Articus energy, physical and emotional healing. Well, that's a nice place to be to start with. The healing of something, not sure what, healing energy from the dragons. Being very trusting, uh, the activated earth. So something is something is being activated for you. It's almost like a it's like a conveyor belt type of theme going on here, um, or vibe rather. <clears throat> Coffin. A rebirth, some kind of rebirth, and a gentleman. Okay, there could be a rebirth of a relationship with a gentleman, very specifically gentleman here as opposed to a gender card. So there could be a rebirth of a relationship, something that you perhaps thought was dead and buried, or perhaps they thought <laughs> you were not interested, <clears throat> but there's something healing here. Realize that the outside world and the flow of inner emotions come and go, but you, the one who experiences these things, remains constantly consciously aware of whatever passes before you. Awakening consciousness. I'll put in a few extra words in there. Uh, maybe somebody wants to say some extra words to you, some words that they hadn't said before, <laughs> words that they haven't written down. Freeing yourself. What is blocked and buried within you forms the root of fear. Fear is caused by blockages in your energy. Yeah. Okay. Charms. We have got a flower. So something's opening. Something's opening up. An opportunity might be opening up for you. And we have got a candy cane. Something's going to be very sweet. Something that you can lean into. What's this gentleman about? He's offering a cup of love with the Ace of Hearts energy there. What is this gentleman about? Or he's offering something that you might love. So you don't have to accept love from a gentleman, but there might be something that you would love, like a boss giving you a pay rise, for example. That might be something that you would love or an opportunity that you've been hoping for. <clears throat> Central energy. Let's find out about this healing and this gentleman, some kind of rebirth with this gentleman. Okay, yeah. We have got the Queen of Swords. We've got the Seven of Wands and the Seven of Cups. Mm, two sevens, okay. Some kind of insight. There's a spiritual connection here. Sevens are spiritual. Um, they're also about uh, good luck. We have got the Six of Swords and the King of Coins. And we have got the Page of Coins and the Knight of Swords. So these are the material energy, the emotional energy and the spiritual energy of this spread. And that is the representing the left brain or the ego, your action oriented energy. And this is the right brain, the um, feminine soul energy. So something that you have been perhaps fantasizing about or something that energetically has has kept on kind of reoccurring as a choice, something that you'd really like, where 
you feel that you would get a lot of value, a lot of material pleasure from? Something that you, perhaps you've taken a while to admit to yourself, but you are, are being pretty objective about what it is that you would want in an emotional way, something that would perhaps would help you with your call for leadership or your call actually just for prosperity, or it could just be that you've got this real determination going on inside of you to to figure out some of the choices or to deliver some choices that you've been thinking about or some ideas that you've been thinking out, out about for a long period of time. Something's going to happen very, very swiftly when you really voice what it is that you want. To, like, listen to what your intuition is telling you. Because something here is going to... Or the communication that you're going to give to yourself is going to give you a lot of courage to chase after some kind of opportunity. If this gentleman with an ace of cups is ace of hearts is reaching out to say, hey, would you like to do this? Would you like this offer? Could be an offer of love, in which case you kind of have a think about it and speak really clearly to yourself and just say, actually, would this move me to a place of more calm and more happiness emotionally? Or would I be self-protective? Or actually, is this is a great, great opportunity? So, so you know, I think your mind's kind of like going, mm, not really sure. I really need to go into my intuition and listen to it. And your intuition is saying, hey, this could be really amazing. It could move you forward really, really quickly. It actually could open up a lot of choices for you, a lot of opportunities for you. And potentially give you a lot of financial return, or it could be giving you a lot of opportunity to to do something that you've wanted to do, like to, to lead your life in a certain way that you've been hoping for. So speak the truth to yourself. Speak the truth to this person about what you really want if they come in with an offer. So this kind of re rebirth, this, this offer could actually give you a, a, a boost of energy here, a real boost of energy. But there's some kind of fear that might be holding you back. And that's representing here with the seven of wands. And, and this is like, oh, you might be keeping this person away or you might be holding away a an opportunity, even on an energetic level, because you're not really voicing to yourself either your self-belief or you're not 100% certain that a choice that could be coming in would be the right choice for you. Okay, so Queen of Swords was the main energy. I'm just going to leave the Queen of Swords here. I'm just going to build some tarot cards around that. So being very, very clear to yourself, what might be, what would you be your preferred choice? Yeah, let's get those two. Connect to eternity within, let yourself be held by love. And disappointment is not the end. There is hope even in the darkest of nights. Okay. Fear and disappointment over here, but then the outside and the inner world, the consciousness that connects to the eternity with eternity within are over here. <clears throat> I'm just getting the words coming through, Pisces, that you really do fear your own greatness. <laughs> I think it's a constant battle for you. <clears throat> Ten of discs and wealth. Four of discs and power. Prince of Discs again, that's the, oh no, that's the Knight of Discs, we had the Page of Discs, and the Five of Discs and Worry. Well, this is all money. So there's a financial worry, okay, there's a big financial concern going on in here, or you're worried that if you, well, one, you might worry, you know, we have that old kind of saying in our head that, you know, mon money's, Money is the root of all evil and we shouldn't have, you know, we shouldn't have certain material things and only certain people are entitled. But then why should they be those certain people? There is there is a financial worry here, but it might be a worry about power that comes with having money or it might be that you are. Worried about the amount of work that would be involved perhaps in whatever this offer is. And although it might give you some wealth and it might actually sort out some problems that you 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 might need to solve or some it will give you some power. There's something about not maybe accepting this opportunity. I think I think you're worried that it might be too hard work. Like you might just end up being bogged down by somebody or by something. 
like it just like working your fingers to the bone here with the coffins kind of coming through. Queen of Discs and Queen of Swords. You know your own value, Pisces. That's what's coming through. Are you worried that you're going to be undervalued? Or you're worried that you're just going to have to work too hard in order to deliver something for somebody else? And it's like, well, you know, I'm worth more. I need to know that I'm worth more. And you are, Pisces. I can guarantee you, you'll always be worth more than you value yourself. Sensitivity with a beautiful rose and variance. Okay, I'm going to have to keep going until I get some balance because I don't like cards that are not aligned, as you well know. Let go. Let go of the worry. Let go of the sensitivity. Okay. Pisces, you just need to let go. Let go of this worry. <clears throat> it's all going to be all right. Look, we've got a lovely red rose with this gentleman. It's going to be great. There's something that's going to be very fulfilling and rewarding, perhaps even romantic. Yeah, magical. Okay, there's going to be something very magical about this. Like, let me just tell you what's going on here. There is somebody, a gentleman, as opposed to a masculine energy. It says very, very clearly gentleman on here. So, as I said, this could be a boss, this could be a parent, this could be a friend, any combination, okay? It could be romantic if, if you are particularly inclined or want a gentleman to be romantic towards you. There is somebody coming in with something. There is an offer. <clears throat> Here it is. There's a cup. There's a bit of a rebirth in a situation or it's going to make you feel very reborn where you've been feeling a little bit dead or a little bit lost or your soul has just been just kind of like a bit closed down. There is something activating. There is something moving. So where things might have been felt stuck, there's something moving and it's going to feel very, very um, great is going to be emotionally and physically healing when this person comes in but you have some fear here you have been disappointed before you've been let down before you're very fearful before and quite rightly so because you have been taken advantage before in the past <clears throat> or people have just accepted that you will deliver and haven't really given any thought to the consequences of how you feel about doing that for them people have abused power around you or they have abused the relationship that they have with you so you're very sensitive to this. You're very, very, very sensitive to somebody coming in with an offer, perhaps offering you new, a new, a new job. But in your existing job, you've worked your fingers to the bone and you've never got any thanks or recognition. So more money is involved here with the Ten of Discs. Actually, it could be wealthy money. It could be substantial amounts of money potentially available to you, maybe not with the actual offer straight away, but with the with the growth and the learning and the opportunities that come with moving yourself forward and power that comes with that. But you are worried about the abuse of power. You're worried about people um, taking advantage of all of your hard work because you are a very, very hard worker, Pisces. You're a very expansive person as well. So you need to, in these cards, say, or the cards are basically saying to you, if when this comes in and you feel fear, then go within, connect to yourself, really tune into your intuition, know that you're held by love on the inside, know that your soul, that your angels, your, your guardians are going to look after you if you follow your instincts. Let go of the fear because you are magical and it's really important that you value yourself here with the Queen of Discs. You know your own worth, that you stand your ground here with this variance, you kind of see the perspective, you go up, you go down, you see the light of what's the situation, you see you see the shadow of the situation and you embrace it all. You, know, you don't have to be disappointed by anybody if you are very comfortable with your boundaries and speaking the truth about what it is that you want and what it is that you're going to expect in return. There is this red rose here which can indicate love, so you might be very sensitive to this. This could be somebody that wants to work with you and wants to have a relationship with you. It could just be that somebody is really just coming in with something. It's something you've really kind of like romanticized in your head about wanting, particularly with that seven of um, cups that we had. This is almost like a fantasy come true and it does feel like it's work connected. It could be work and romantic, but it does feel like it's work connected. And let go of the fear know your worth, know your magic, and, um, and make sure you value yourself, Pisces. There is, as I said, there's an activation. It's going to make you feel resurrected or it's going to make you like just feel like you've got life force flowing through you again. It's going to be a bit of a rebirth. Perhaps it's a, perhaps it's a rekindling of your um, a career, for example. You know, you thought things had gone a bit stale and suddenly something's shifted or a rekindling of your business or a different business idea that you want to do or or just an idea that you can you've been talking about an idea and a friend comes on and says hey let's do something together and then you're kind of like oh hang on a minute 
I don't want to be the one that does all the work here. Okay. Right, I've just had a quick, very quick um, <laughs> slurp or two of my tea, which is sitting next to me and it's still warm. Um, so you might go for a cup of tea with this person and just sit and work things through. Let it go again. Let go of all that does no longer serve you. We had that last week or is that the week before? We had this mantra of let go. Let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go, let go of the fear. Let go. What are we going to have to let go of this time? Constantly letting go. Okay, let go. <laughs> let go of the fear. <clears throat> let go of the past. Really? Let go of the fear. Let it go. Let go of the past. It's time to envision a new story. All right, if this gentleman is somebody that you know, and it's perhaps somebody from your past. It could be somebody that you worked with before who's coming along and saying, hey, do you fancy coming and joining my new company or something like that? Or it could be somebody from your past saying, hey, you know, we didn't quite get it together before, but, you know, do you fancy getting together now? And you go, hmm, I don't know, actually. I'm a bit feared, fearful that you didn't uh, show your best energy in the past, and I'm not 100% sure that that is what I want around me. And the universe is saying, let it go, because you're a different person from the past there. It will be a different person from the past. Take, take it at face value. Um, just be sensitive to your energy and their energy, and you'll work it out. We've got intention and determination and love, nice, and inspire. Okay. Let it go. Intention, determination. Let go of your fears. Let go of your worries. Allow yourself the love. Allow yourself to be inspired by love. Well, that's nice. And get those four. Goodness, loads of those want to come out. <clears throat> we have got <laughs> a man holding a heart. Are you kidding me? Oh, uh, Pisces. I mean, after yesterday's reading, which is very much about masculine and energy feminine energy coming together where are they where's he gone there you go here gentlemen there's a gentleman holding a cup of love with the ace of hearts and now we've got a man holding a heart okay all right he could be a masculine energy as opposed to a man take it how it resonates walking away and cornucopia which is abundance Okay. You're going to walk away from a man holding a heart? You could be. Dog. And Clover. All right, there's something very lucky. There's something very lucky and very loyal about this. I'm just going to read Cornucopia. I'll be back in a sec. Okay, it is a, it's an abundant harvest, but it's also your wishes fulfilled, which is the same as the Seven of Cups. It's like the fantasy, fantasy, the choices, the wishes fulfilled. This is, again, I just checked this, this is walking away, is also letting go. I mean, how many times do we have to have let go? We had it four, four or five times in a previous reading. Was that last week or was it just over a week or a week and a half ago? If you had to let go of a man who is holding a heart or you're letting go of the need to worry about a man, your wishes are your wishes are going to come true. Let go, let go of holding him away or this person away, them away. Uh, as I said, it could be a masculine energy. It feels like um, the animals are involved. <laughs> Maybe this person has a, a dog as well as a heart um, and there's something very lucky. There's something cornucopia is wishes fulfilled and so is clover. It's, it's luck. There's something very lucky. There's something very... Um, luck coming around the corner or this person is very lucky or you're going to feel very lucky you're going to feel lucky walking away from them let's see the great severing <laughs> is that not letting go as well the great severing mars energy conflict softening to love oh let go of holding love away pisces the courageous peony multifaceted unique nature let yourself be seen yeah, you're holding yourself away. You've walked away from some kind of situation in the past and your defences are there. It's like, but you're looking back, you're looking at the back of the gate and saying, mm, did I shut it? And please take this in a energy form, not a gender form. 
you know, you, you've given yourself enough self-compassion to say, well, I'm, I'm going to do what's right for me. There's somebody in the material world who's offering a heart or offering an opportunity to you, but in a, on an emotional level, you're saying, well, I'm not really sure it's right for me. However, I'm going to assess my choices, but this is wishes fulfilled. So this person is wishes fulfilled. So, <clears throat> excuse me, actually, I'm just going to have a quick cough. I've got a little frog in my throat there. So I had to clear my throat. It wasn't a cough. It was more of a clearing of my throat um, and another cup of tea. So maybe there's more tea to be had. This man wants to have a cup of tea with you still. Okay, snowflake. We have got here uniqueness, something very, very unique and beautiful. And we have got a bee. Somebody perhaps wants to build with you, build a community with you or be part of your community. But I'm going to get some tarot cards for each of these. So man holding a heart. Can we please have a tarot card for man holding a heart? Can we have a tarot card for walking away? And can we have a tarot card for, for Utopia? We're going to get two. Ten of Wands followed by the Magician. Aha. Uh -huh. Man holding the heart is a king of cups. <laughs> well, of course it is. He's the ultimate, like, he's the ultimate, um, or the king energy, rather. Not the gender, but the king energy is the ultimate energy of mature masculine love and a mask an energy that is a masculine energy that is emotionally available. And we have got walking away and the devil and the ego. Cornucopia, ten of wands, over override, overridden by the, the magician. Well, I see this is very strong. And I do feel it's very connection oriented. Well, connection. I do feel it's very romantically connection orientated. So if you're not interested in that, and I'm two 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 on the um, timer, which is my dog Ashka's sign here. Um, and we've got the ten of hearts dog, which is the ten of cups, which is love and harmony and divine connections as well. Six of diamonds here, clover, which is success. There's something very very successful about this. There's something very successful about this connection or there's something that's potentially very successful about this connection. There is somebody coming along who is emotionally available and I think you know them and I think before they have not been a gentleman or they've not been emotionally available. So I think that you are like defensive, you're you're not sure. You, But there is a real invitation to let go of the past, just let go of any preconceived ideas of what this person is going to be like or you kind of know them or know of them and they're coming in with a job offer, but you're, you know, they have a reputation. Let's say they're they're this boss in the marketplace, and um, you know they run a company, and they've got a reputation of being a bit fierce. And you don't really know them very well, but they come in and offer you a job, and you're just like, oh, I'm not really sure. I think you could be really difficult to work with. I think I could get taken advantage of financially. Um, I'm not sure this is the right thing. It might look good on my cv for example but i'm just not sure that i want to work with you because you don't have a very good reputation but actually you go and have a cup of tea with this person and you realize uh, you know what you're actually more emotionally deep than i thought you're actually a person that i could really love spending time with getting on with enjoying hanging out with um it feels actually like you're pretty loyal I could be really lucky with this. This could be amazing. And rather than walking away, it's the ego, the devil, the devil in here. I need to free myself of my fear. I need to free myself of the restriction because there's something really, really amazing in here. So there's somebody who's coming in. They're very, they've got a specific intention. They're very determined. They're determined to communicate with you. You've got these Pisces fish going on in here. They are emotionally deep. We've got this kind of watery energy going on in here. You are worried about the sting in their tail here with the jellyfish, but they are determined and they're determined to chase Pisces. They're determined to um they're determined to circle you until you come in and chat to them. And here we've got the man holding the heart and we have got love. This person, you know, really genuinely loves who you are. They might love you actually really on a deep level. That's a very, very beautiful card, a very beautiful energy art card here. And I think you inspire them. I think you you might be inspired by them, but you inspire them. So with the devil, you kind of have to really watch what your ego's doing here. Are you going to walk away from something that is amazing because of a preconceived idea of what this could be like, as opposed to sit down, have some tea, have cups of tea, cups of coffee, go for dinner, whatever it is that is right, and just see the individuality of this person, realize that they have actually been working very, very hard on themselves. They really want to build a community um, and they want you in that community or they want to be part of your community. Um, it's taken them quite a lot of courage, I think, to want to do that. They're very multifaceted here, which goes with the B energy. 
let yourself be seen. Allow yourself to be really seen by this person and your emotional depths and don't be afraid to be yourself. Because here, again, I think you're worried that with, you know, your wishes fulfilled is like you're so used to carrying around the burdens of life that you you don't believe that the magic is really there anymore, but it is. Here's the magician. Okay, a couple more cards here. Broken heart. Ah, oh, you had a broken heart. Maybe this person had broken your heart. You're recovering from a broken heart. So that's why you're just very, very, very careful about your heart. Adjacent possibilities. However, this is just going to open lots and lots of things for you. So you don't haven't been let, let yourself be seen because you're you're protecting your heart and that and that's a beautiful thing so you are with this man maybe this man broke your heart or maybe circumstances around him did or them rather not him because it could be a them the animals are in charge as my great friend Erin's new YouTube channel is, the dogs are winning. <laughs> when you start working with animals, you realise that there's all sorts of things that happen behind your back that you kind of think the animals must have sorted that. <laughs> they have far, far more input and implication, in, in, ability to change our world, input into our world than we realise. Okay, we've got a couple more of these, so let's see what's going on in here. Sixth chakra, Archangel Metatron, there's something that you can see. There's a vision. You've got a vision, Pisces. You can intuitively sense this, but you've got this psychic knowing, the garden and the gate. Okay, so you're back inside the garden and the gate's shut. So rather than walking out of the garden and saying, oh, I'm going to walk away, you've actually come back inside. You can see now that the gate's shut and you're sitting back inside rather than out in the in the wilderness. Um, so you're prepared to listen. You're prepared to use your third eye vision to um, find out more about what this is all about, which is great. And awakening, divine masculine. <laughs> Here they are again. We're not getting away from them. And soul song. All right, the divine masculine is awakening to their soul song. As I said, this could be any gender. It's the divine masculine of these two energies. And here we've got a feminine energy woman, and there's something very guarded. <laughs> What's the right word? Very overseen <laughs> by the guardian angels. I can't even get my words out today. We have got the three of discs and work. Okay, it's definitely work orientated. The Knight of Cups, but there is some romance or chivalry involved. Temperance it is going to be balanced. It will be okay. The lovers, I'm not surprised. The Knight of Cups and the lovers, and the Four of Wands and completion. All right, there is some kind of completion of a cycle and awakening. A something that you've known about for a long period of time. Perhaps you met this person at work. It, or you're now in a place with work that you're balanced enough that you can step inside the gate and allow in some kind of romantic connection, allow choices around you that are, it's like awakening, awakening something that's going to be incredibly amazing. Like the Four of Wands here, we've got awakening, but the Four of Wands is a card of comfort and stability and celebration. It's a beautiful, beautiful energy. We have got here the sun. How much joy is that? And the seventh chakra. Wow. Okay. This is something very, very divinely guided. Look at the soul song energy, the seventh chakra. There is a very divine connection. I mean, a divinely guided connection, a very joyful connection, the awakening of the true potential of a connection. I think your, um, your job is to energetically allow this to happen, Pisces, if you want it to. Whatever this connection is for you. The star, wow. The queen of cups. <laughs> We've had the king of cups. We've got the queen of cups. The five of swords and the queen of wands. Okay, there comes the fear again, but you're going to chase it away. All right? This is, this, there, there is something very, very destined. That's very beautiful. It's very, you, you might be very, very hopeful. Um, it could be very healing, this energy here with the Queen of Cups. We've had the King of Cups. There's counterpart energy going on in here, a very healing of the connection. We had that energy right to start with. Um, this will give you a lot of compassion and encouragement to 
um, allow your creativity to surge. I think you're you're in a very, very powerful place. You might have some conflict and indecision about worrying about your power being diminished by somebody, this person, this connection. We've got to create, but actually you're going to create amazing things together and you're, it's going to build your courage. It's going to build your courage. Alternatively, there's somebody who's wanting to heal something with you. They just see you as such a guiding light. They're very worried about what you might say. They're in kind of in conflict about what to say to you, but they're getting the compassion and courage to come towards you anyway. You know, they're being driven by the universe to do this. This is a connection that is kind of out of your hands, both of you, whoever you two are. I'm going to get a couple more charms and then we will finish off. Look at that. We got the heart. <laughs> Okay, the red heart, which was in what well, in each of the three spreads, and celebration and balloon. Okay, there is something very very celebratory about this. Here is the gentleman. He may or she they the masculine energy in this gentleman card. We've got them holding a heart. Here is this heart. Okay, we've got the ace of hearts down here. There is something very, very loving about this connection. There's a very loving energy wanting to come towards you. I feel that you have got some defenses up about it or there's somebody, you might already be with them, but they're trying to connect to you and you're just like holding them away. But this person has been going through some kind of awakening process. It is absolutely beautiful. Here we have it is really, really beautiful, happy, joyful, the divine masculine energy that is emotionally available. They want to create with you. They're perhaps summoning up the courage to do something. They're very, very, very guided towards you. They might even want to marry you. You might already be married to them, but there's a big awakening going through. So you're standing just inside the garden gate now saying, mm, okay, I'm prepared to listen. I'm prepared to hear and understand. And um, perhaps you will work with this person. Perhaps you'll just allow the allow them to work <laughs> to explain maybe how to bring things into balance to collaborate with them to do something that will be in balance with them but that may lead to something that is more romantic as well okay a big awakening a big awakening of some kind of relationship Pisces and um it is here with the crown chakra and the seventh chakra, six chakra. It's either something that you've been sensing or intuiting for a very long period of time or vice versa, but it is very psychic, okay, with the third eye and the crown chakra. It's very psychic, it's very divinely guided, and it's absolutely something to do with your angels sorting something out for you, okay? I'm going to leave it there.